Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with my large summer pantry stock up from Walmart and also my July monthly groceries. So I just got back from a very large long trip stocking up at Walmart. It's been a couple of months since I've been to Walmart, so I decided I would go ahead and do my quarterly big pantry stock up as well as pick up the majority of my monthly groceries with the exception of some of the fresh ingredients and recipe specific ingredients that I pick up mid-month. Last month I did not do a second grocery haul. I ended up just um, running to the store multiple times for like I would send my husband on his way home from work for a specific ingredient or specific produce, things like that. So I never really had a second full grocery haul. And um, so definitely there were a lot of things that I needed to pick up. And I had mentioned in my last video too, heading to Walmart to fill in some holes in my pantry. I decided to wait until the first of the month to go ahead and do that. So that's what I did. So everything here you can see on the table. And then I'm going to go ahead and share with you these uh, perishable items first and get them put away. And then I'll set up some of the canned food that I have as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the fresh and frozen items that I picked up. We've been eating a lot of berries and things lately, so I haven't had some of the traditional fruits in a little while. So I thought I would pick up some pears, bananas, oranges, and apples. These are little tiny Honeycrisp apples, and um, they just looked really good. So I thought I would grab some of those, some celery for chicken soup that I'll be making, and then also our bread, some little miniature bagels, some raisin bread, and just some regular white bread to have on hand. We don't ever go through a full loaf, um, but I like to have it on hand for little sandwiches now and again, and toast. And I got a small bottle of chocolate milk and a blueberry lemonade. It sounded really good. I checked my freezer before we left, and we were pretty well stocked up on meat still. One thing I wanted to pick up was a nice roasting chicken. I'm going to go ahead and roast this chicken up tomorrow. Then we'll have a roast chicken dinner the first night. I'll make stock out of the bones, set aside some of the extra meat for a chicken soup, and if there's enough meat left over, I might want to try chicken a la king recipe as well. So we'll see how many meals I can get out of this chicken. Just our soup alone lasts us a couple of days for sure. So this chicken is going to go a long way this week. I picked us up a couple of ham steaks and then some pork hocks for bean soup. A smoked sausage. I wanted to put some salt pork away either in the freezer or I, I think it can be frozen. I'll have to double check but I want to try some old-fashioned recipes that call for salt pork. And then also I got a couple packs of these little beef smokies just for our different summer meals. I like to have these on hand for company. Then I picked up some cheese, some more of the little baby bells. We love those. And some provolone, sliced Swiss cheese, and medium cheddar cheese. As well as some string cheese. This is the sort that is half cheddar and half mozzarella. And then a big bag of Colby Jack for different recipes and things. I was also really stocked up on veggies. The only thing I needed were these California style um, vegetable mix that we eat all the time, multiple times a week. So I got a few of those. And then some sweet peas for recipes and potatoes of Brian also for a recipe. I got some regular cottage cheese as well as pineapple cottage cheese. Some sour cream as well as squeezable sour cream some uh, chive whipped um, cream cheese for the bagels, as well as a five pack of Yakult. And a big selection here of little packets of meat, a lot of beef and corned beef and turkey. We've been going through these a lot. Not only um, do we use them to make sandwiches, but my old dog is on a daily medication. She's very clever at picking her pill out of things, but she can't resist a little slice of meat. So we wrap her pill in these. So we need um, to have quite a few of these because we've been going through those, giving her a little piece every day with her um, medicine. But it definitely works for her. And let's see, then we got a package of these Farm Rich Breaded Mushrooms. These are really good. I'm probably the only one here who likes them. My husband likes them a little bit, but it's not his favorite, but I love these for appetizers, you know, every now and again. I picked up a two pack of Grand's biscuits, a tube of the orange rolls, two of the crescent rolls, 
And then a little tiny meat lovers lasagna. And we've never had these chicken enchiladas. Thought that I would have um, two of these little frozen meals in the fridge for those nights when I just am a little bit too busy to cook and just to have something to grab easily. So I thought we'd try those two out this month. So those are all of our fresh and frozen foods. We didn't need very many um, things in this uh, section here. Of course, we are always running to the store for our fresh produce and we are really stocked up on meat right now. So um, I'm going to go ahead now because it is a hot summer day and get all of these perishables put away and then I'll set up our canned food and share with you all of the things we stocked up in our pantry. Okay, so I have all of our perishable items put away and I got out all of my canned items that I picked up and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the rest of the pantry items. So we'll start with cans here. I picked up some uh, Chef Boyardee items just to have on hand. I like these in the pantry. So I've got four beef ravioli, two las or, uh, three lasagna, then I picked up soup that I use for cooking. I use the French onion soup quite a bit. And same with cream of chicken. And I like this just to have with sandwiches. Beef with vegetables and barley. And I also got a couple of these individual chunky soups. Two of the pub style chicken pot pie. And two of the sirloin burger. Then I also picked up two of these three packs of the beef stew. I like that they're in these um, packages here. The bigger cans of beef stew tend to get dented and so I like the way that these store a little bit better. And I needed some more refried beans so I got two big containers of that and then four of the fruit cocktails. I use these in different salads and jello salads in the summer. Then two cans of sweet peas and one can of Las Palmas green enchilada sauce. So that's really all we needed in the canned foods. Our pantry is pretty well stocked up. One thing that I've been doing that's been helping really well with my canned food is before I put these away, I will get out a Sharpie and put the expiration date on all of the cans and then rotate these to the back of my pantry. That way everything stays nice and rotated. I've been working on building up a nice solid pantry here um, so that I have everything I need and it stays nice and rotated. So that's something I'll be doing today later on. And then also I've got a couple of these homestyle bakes. I haven't had these for years. I picked up two just in case I like them. I might um, share them with my kids to see if they like them as well. It's just nice to have some shelf stable things like this ready to go just in case you need something quick. Oh, also, these aren't really canned, but they're sort of like in the canned fruit category. I really enjoy these little pineapples in gel. So does my grandson. These are nice in the summer. Refrigerated, they make a really nice quick little side dish. It's very refreshing. And then I also got the mandarin oranges in orange gel. And I didn't get very many of the boxed sorts of side dishes or pasta or anything like that. We're very well stocked up on those, but my husband spotted these. Um, from the Great Value brand and thought that they looked interesting so we picked up two of the flavors, the Italian five cheese, sort of like a, a macaroni and cheese but a little bit fancier and this one is the smoked Gouda. So we'll try those out and see how they are. And I picked up a jar of chocolate malt Ovaltine. I like this. I like using this also to make like a chocolate malted shake too. Um, just add this with a little bit of milk and vanilla ice cream in a blender. That's pretty good and it's also good just heated up with um, sort of like a hot milk um, beverage too. Sort of like a twist on a hot cocoa. Um, that's pretty good. I used to drink that all the time when I was younger and my kids drank it when they were younger. Then I spotted something new in the instant oatmeal um, section and it just looked too fun to pass up. I really wanted to try this. So I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Instant Oatmeal, the Cocoa Puffs Instant Oatmeal, which I'm not sure how I feel about chocolate oatmeal, but we'll see. I do like chocolate oatmeal um, chip cookies, so we'll see how that tastes. Tricks Oatmeal, another one I wasn't too sure about, but I just wanted to give it a try. And then Lucky Charms Oatmeal. I like Lucky Charms, so I thought that that sounded pretty good. So we will try these very interesting instant oatmeals and see how they are. Also in the cereal category, again, we have a pretty good supply of cereal from last month. So I just picked up this new um, Lucky Charms cereal. It's got the marshmallow clusters, which looks fun. My husband and I both like to snack when we want something sweet, but not like a real heavy dessert. We just have a little tiny bowl of cereal. So it's fun to have these fun flavors like that sometimes. And then some Frosted Flakes, which we haven't had in a while. 
I also picked up some blueberry Pop-Tarts. And then also a couple of um, cartons of beef broth. I've been making my own beef broth, but it's really nice to have some on hand so that you can make something quick uh, with the beef stock if you need to. Then I got some um, spice packets and condiments here. The Cranch, I have noticed with the Cranch that has a very short shelf life. I used to keep one in backup and one in the fridge, but by the time the one in the fridge was gone, it was usually expired I was finding, then I would go to retrieve the one from my pantry and it was almost expired. So it has a very short shelf life, so I've decided to just use one and then replace it when it expires and not keep one in back stock. All of mine are about to expire, so I did decide to pick one up. This one expires in October, so it'll last for a few months. And that's pretty much the case with all of the Mayo Fusions. This one is Mayo Must. I love this one. This one is good until December, so that's nice. I make a lot of salads and dips and things like that in the summer, so I picked up two jars of mayonnaise. I also have been enjoying this honey mustard sweet baby rays. It's really good with chicken and french fries and things like that. Then this is our favorite Walmart brand salsa, the pineapple tomatillo salsa. We all love this, the whole family does, so I always like to grab a couple when I'm at Walmart. And I'm gonna be making some French onion dip um, for 4th of July, as well as some ranch dip, so I needed those packets. And I picked up a couple of mild taco seasoning packets. I was looking for the chicken taco packets, but they were out, so I'll have to hunt those down in another grocery store. Then I picked up some caramel sundae syrup. Always like to have a backup of that on hand. We really love it around here. And then I got a good supply of baking. That was the main area I really wanted to stock up on today. I hadn't stocked up on baking ingredients for a little while. So I got one carton of evaporated milk. We don't use it too often, but I really like the carton design of these. Again, it's so nice that it's not a bunch of dentable cans, so We'll go ahead and try this style out. I picked up two baking chips, a butterscotch and a semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a packet of, um, of yeast. Then I got a bunch of Jell-O pudding and Jell-O products for different summer recipes. So I got a four pack of the instant Jell-O, a big pack here of the chocolate pudding mix, um, four of the Jell-O tapiocas. I usually use minute tapioca, but they have been out of stock around here for a very long time, so I thought I would just grab this um, and see what that's like. I still need to find minute tapioca. I use minute tapioca to thicken a um, barbecue beef recipe that I have. It's an old recipe from my great-grandpa, and he always put the tapioca in it, but it's not this kind. But this will be good for tapioca pudding. Then I got some little things of Jello, some cherry, some peach, and pineapple. And then some big Jello for a Jello poke cake for um, 4th of July, cherry, and blue raspberry. And then a lime one to have on hand. Also picked up some dried blueberries. Then I picked up some cook and serve jello pudding. This cooks up a little differently, and my grandmother preferred it, and I believe my mother preferred it for making things like. Uh, pudding pies and things like that. So I thought I would have some of those on hand too. Two of the cook and serve butterscotch and two of the cook and serve chocolate pudding. Then I picked out some um, cake mixes, some angel food cake, a couple of fudge brownie mixes. We like to always have those on hand. A couple of white cake mixes and a lemon cake mix. Then some cherry frosting, two of those and a lemon frosting. Then I got a box of cornmeal and a bag of granulated sugar. I got some sugar cubes to have on hand for anyone who likes it in their tea or coffee. A container of Crisco. Two big bags of flour. They were all out of the whole wheat flour in this variety. I love this variety because it comes in this sturdy bag. It's easy to store, um, but they were out of the whole wheat, which I really need too. So I know of another store that sells this brand, and I'll have to hunt it down over there. And then lastly, in the baking section, I stocked up on a bunch of brown sugar and one powdered sugar and one dark brown sugar. So we usually use the light brown sugar, so I got four of those and then just one of each of these because we're pretty um, well stocked up besides that. And then on to some of the snack foods. 
These chips here, some regular ruffles and some lightly salted lays are for the dips um, that I'm making for 4th of July. Picked up some crackers, some of our favorites, chicken and a biscuit, and Triscuit Thin Crisps, as well as some better cheddars, and some graham crackers for s'mores. I thought these Dublin shortbread looked really good for tea and coffee. And my husband mentioned some uh, microwavable sweet popcorn. So I thought we would try this buttery um, kettle corn. And I got a few patriotic cookies here, Oreos with um, popping candy with red, white, and blue, some red, white, and blue Chips Ahoys as well as some chewy Chips Ahoys. I also got a big um, multi-pack of the little baggies of Cheez-Its. thought these looked like an intriguing snack. These are Taco Bell flavored cheddar crisps. Now it looks like the che uh, cheese wisps, but Taco Bell flavor. So we'll try that one that's in cheese and this one is in nacho. Then I got a tiny bag of the Cheetos Crunch Pop Mix. A tiny bag also of the Doritos Roulette. Apparently some of the chips are super spicy, so that'll be interesting. And then I got some Fritos for a recipe. And if we have any leftover of, of the Fritos, we'll use it with this bean dip here. And then we picked up some juice boxes and drinks. This is the orange Heisey Lava Burst flavor. Got some little tiny cans of Cherry Coke some orange juice for the pantry and crayon pineapple. We got a bunch of apple juice boxes for my grandson when he's over and then some little individual ruby red grapefruit juices and then two things of Mountain Dew, one of the um, patriotic one with code red white out and voltage then this other one here called frostbite. They both looked interesting and they both look like they'd be fun for 4th of July. Then also I found this fun new Kit Kat flavor. My daughter's having her birthday the day before 4th of July, so I thought this would be fun to bring over and try out as well. It is fruity cereal Kit Kats. So those looked like a lot of fun. There's enough here for everybody in the family to give them a try. So I thought we would try those out as well. And then lastly, I always like to pick something yummy from the bakery. So I decided to go with these chocolate chip sandwich cookies. They look really good. I um, love their Funfetti ones. They have cookies just like this. They're not chocolate chip. They have like the little um, Funfetti sprinkles in them and then they have the frosting in the center with sprinkles and those are really delicious. They didn't have those this time so I thought I would try out the chocolate chip sandwich cookies. They look um, yummy and it's always fun to get something special from the bakery after a very huge shopping trip. So I'm all stocked up in my pantry here as soon as I get this all put away and labeled with their expiration date so I can keep everything rotated. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this big Walmart haul. I'm gonna go ahead next and share with you the total of this grocery haul as well as share with you our July monthly meal plan. Okay, so before I get started with my meal plan, I'll go ahead and share with you the total that I spent today at Walmart. They broke it into two receipts, which has happened to me before. If you exceed a certain number of items, they have to stop the order and re-ring a second order. Just happens to me all the time at my particular Walmart. I asked if it was a dollar amount because it's different every time and they said no, it's a number of items amount. You can see there are a lot of number of items on this, lots of little pantry items here. So the first receipt totaled $357.10 and then the second receipt totaled $81.09. And that brings the total for this month's groceries to $438.19. That's sticking pretty close in budget, I think, for such a big grocery haul. We will, of course, be running to the store mid-month for things like produce and fresh meats and things like that. I don't know if I'll be doing a second grocery haul or not, just like last month. I'll have to see if I actually need enough to necessitate an actual grocery shopping trip rather than just running to the store for, say, fresh blueberries and bread. But this was definitely a big grocery haul with lots of wonderful things to add to the pantry. I just thought I'd show you real quick. You can see... Let's see here. You can see that I've been labeling my cans. This is how I do it to avoid food waste. I started doing this um, earlier in the year and it's been really helpful just to be able to see in my pantry at a glance when everything is um, 
expiring so that I can make sure to use the correct one first. I of course try to keep them lined up in order of their uh, pull date. So it's just been really nice to do that. When I was reorganizing my pantry earlier in the year, I noticed some of the items had been shoved to the back a couple of times and they were expired and I don't want to have that sort of food waste going on because that sort of negates any savings that you would have by having a pantry in the first place. That's another thing I'm considering doing, sharing with you my pantry setup. This year I switched out from a um, closet style pantry to a larger pantry that we've put together. So that's something I'm definitely considering doing. Um, also while I was labeling everything I opened up these little Taco Bell cheddar cheese crisps in the nacho flavor. And they are really good. So this is definitely something I would buy again. It's a really good uh, keto-friendly snack. I'm not really doing keto, but I do love um, those lower sugar and lower carb snacks sometimes. And this definitely fits the bill and it's really tasty. Okay, so now on to my meal plan. Been inspired by um, going through some of my older cookbooks, looking back at some of the recipes I used to make when I was first a housewife, and um, just kind of going through those putting some old-fashioned uh, ideas on the menu here. Tonight we will of course start with that roast chicken with mashed potatoes and gravy and mixed veggies and then I'm going to pop the uh, bones from that chicken into the crock pot overnight to make a nice chicken broth which I will turn into a chicken soup which we'll have with bread tomorrow. On Saturday the 3rd, that's my daughter's birthday, so we'll be having dinner with her and the family. Then 4th of July is on Sunday, and we'll, we'll have a family potluck barbecue. On Monday the 5th, we'll have chicken a la king. Again, one of those old-fashioned recipes that I've actually never made, so I'd really like to try that one out. Um, Tuesday the 6th, we'll have sausage with rice and beans with some of the kale that is really abundantly growing in my garden right now. On Wednesday the 7th, we'll have a patchwork casserole, again, from my vintage cookbook. And then on Thursday the 8th, we'll have leftovers. On Friday the 9th, we'll have my Nana's tuna cheese buns. It's a wonderful recipe that I hope to film with fruit salad. On Saturday the 10th, we'll have lemon chicken with Costco ravioli and veggies. On Sunday the 11th, we'll have crock pots with steak over rice with fruit, and I'm going to do some homemade cookies, possibly oatmeal or apple spice, or maybe a couple varieties, I don't know, um, just something nice for the family. And then um, on Monday the 12th, tuna casserole with zucchini bread. On Tuesday the 13th, ham steaks with a gratin potatoes and veggies. On Wednesday the 14th, hamburger gravy over biscuits with fruit. Then we'll have leftovers on Thursday the 15th. My birthday is Friday the 16th. I'll probably eat out at one of the local burger um, restaurants. There are a couple of wonderful local burger shops, old-fashioned burger shops that I just love to eat at in um, our small town here. Uh, one of them that I'm thinking of makes an absolutely delicious pineapple milkshake. I'm thinking I might want that with my burger. Um... Then on Saturday the 17th, we'll have turkey veggie rice bowls. Sunday the 18th, we'll have dinner out with family. And Monday the 19th, we'll have Swiss broccoli soup with bread. Then the next night, we'll have leftover soup with grilled ham and cheese sandwiches. On Wednesday the 21st, we'll have baked turkey wontons with fried rice. On Thursday the 22nd, I'll make a tri-tip with mushrooms with mashed potatoes and carrots. And Friday the 23rd, we'll have fish sticks, potato wedges, and veggies. On Saturday the 24th, we'll have leftovers. Sunday the 25th, we'll have a zesty lime chicken served with Santa Fe potato salad, um, lime ambrosia, and black bean and corn salsa with chips and a key lime pie for Sunday dessert. On Monday the 26th, I thought I'd make something easy. What I did last time with a frozen store uh, thin crust cheese pizza is so we topped it with some bacon bits topped it with some pineapple tidbits, and added some green onions also to the top of that. Kind of dressed up a frozen pizza. It was really delicious, made for a nice, super quick fix for dinner. And we'll probably have that with fruit, just something easy after a lot of cooking here. And then on Tuesday the 27th, we'll have a Santa Fe casserole bake with fruit. On Wednesday the 28th, we'll have meatballs in a sour cream sauce over egg noodles with Brussels sprouts. On Thursday the 29th we'll have salmon patties with sweet potato fries and broccoli and then on Friday the 30th we'll have takeout. I usually have a takeout dinner on the last night of the month because often that is a day that I will go grocery shopping 
for the next month and I'm usually too tired to cook after a big day of grocery shopping. So we'll get something like takeout unless we have leftovers or something else easy like that. So that is our July meal plan and our big summer pantry stock up. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at that. I think I'm going to make myself a cup of tea now and enjoy one of these chocolate chip sandwich cookies. They look really good. They are calling my name. And I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.